Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Other Ones Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download the Better Glass mod, aka the Better Glass texture, and you're gonna be able to equip this over any texture pack. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to skip to the tutorial, you can skip to the tutorial using the link, uh, not the link, but the timestamp provided on screen, or you can stay and uh, I'll show you how it looks and, you know, my opinions on it and uh, what it'll look after you're done downloading it. All right, guys. So uh, thank you for staying. If you guys did stay, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below saying potato if you stayed for the uh, showcase. And so pretty much it makes it look like this. Uh, this is what the, um, what's it called? Uh, glass pane. <laughs> I'm, su I'm such an idiot. The glass pane looks like this uh, with the, uh, you know, when you remove the borders from the glass. And uh, this is how the uh, normal glass block looks uh, when you remove the borders from it. So it's kind of invisible, but like, it's still got the thing. So you could like, so it, it won't look like nothing. They at least left the little uh, details of the glass so you could still tell it's glass. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, I built a bunch of different uh, walls with different uh, variants uh, on as glass. Uh, so you guys could see how it looks. Also, <laughs> I forgot to mention this. If you guys are still here watching, uh, the only reason why I haven't been uploading uh, these uh, download videos is because I'm kind of getting burnt out on it. So, uh, And I'm actually having fun with the live streams. So I, I was like, ah, fuck it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue the live streams. But yeah, this is... what. This is what it would look like with um, with different variants that are like stained glasses though right here. So yeah. Okay, so I like everything except for this. You see this line? They need to remove the top texture and the... It looks like the bottom texture might be removed, but the top one might be interfering with it. But like they need to remove this line right here because if, if, if the panes, if the glass panes could do what these do right here, that would just be amazing but unfortunately they have this like line in the center uh, when you have any on like top of it and stuff as you can see so um, yeah that's the only thing I would complain about uh, but yeah it works as intended to be honest uh, not all your windows have to be that tall you can just you know do that one with the panes and then do these with those you know what I'm saying but yeah if you guys um enjoyed this uh showcase make sure to hit that like button and if you guys enjoyed the download and it worked for you make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a new video in the future uh so yeah uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Real quick, before I get into the tutorial, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys are having any issues downloading, installing, using, making it work, anything with the mod in this video or any other videos, make sure to join my Discord linked in the description if you are looking for help. But yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Go ahead and push the middle button and then go to the way right and pr go to settings. Uh, boom, press A on it. Uh, once you press A on settings and it finishes loading over on the left side, you want to go down to display and sound and then you want to click on video output. After you click on video output in the center column, you will see an advanced section that says video fidelity and overscan. You want to press A on that next. After you press A on that over there on the way right, you will see something that says apps can add a border. You need to make sure that there is no check mark inside of the box right here. Boom, that's what it looks like with the check mark. Boom, that's what it looks like without the check mark. You need to make sure that there is no check mark inside of there, or else you will not be able to use slash download slash install the mod. The next thing you need is these four apps. The first one is File Downloader. The second one is File Explorer. The third one is Microsoft Edge. And the fourth one, and not least, is UFO.transfer. You can find UFO.transfer and File Downloader both in the Microsoft Store, but Microsoft Edge and File Explorer should be on your Xbox by default. It was for me and it should be for you. Mine is gray because I chose gray as my color scheme, so your Fire File Explorer might show up as a different color. So keep that in mind. All right, next, after you make sure you have all four of those downloaded, go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge. Once Microsoft Edge finishes loading, uh, make sure to navigate yourself onto this website right here. The website is called mcpedl.com. I repeat, 
mcpedl.com. Once you're on this website, it should look similar to this. And then at the top right, you will see a magnifying glass. Go ahead and press A on that magnifying glass and then type in C O N N E C T E D space G L A S S. After you type that, go ahead and press the pause button, aka the button with the three lines, and it should load the next page up. And then you just want to go to this one right here. There's going to be a bunch of them, but this is the one that I know how to download slash install for you guys on the Xbox. So go ahead and press A on this one right here. It's made by Ender Phoenix Group right here. Boop. As you can see, that's how you know this is the right one. It should have this name and the creator's name right here and then this uh, picture. So once you find it, go ahead and press A to open it up. Just make sure you guys click on the right one. And then uh, once this page loads up, there's a bunch of useful information on why and how they made it and all that, you know, the creators and this stuff. And then scroll down to this area right here where it says downloads. Go ahead and press A on this right here where it says connected glass.mcpack media fire link. Go ahead and press A on that text. Boom. After you press A on that text, it should open up a new page that is a media fire link. And now what you want to do is you want to hover over the green rectangle that says download. Once you're hovering over it, your cruiser will turn blue with a hand pointing. Go ahead and press the pause button now, aka the button with the three lines. And then you want to press A on copy link when this menu comes up. After you copy link, you want to go ahead and open up the other app that I told you guys to make sure you have downloaded called File Downloader. Okay, so once the file downloader is done loading, you want to go to the top left and press A on these three lines. Boom. After you press A on those three lines, you want to click on from URL. After you click on from URL, you need to press A on local storage. After you press A on local storage, this area right here where it says enter or paste it here, you want to hover over this huge rectangle that says enter or paste it here. And then once you're hovering over it, you need to press the pause button, aka the button with the three lines again. Boom. And then if a keyboard comes up, do not freak out. Just push the B button one time and then with move the left analog on your controller down and it should bring up the paste button and this is what should have come up. Uh, but yeah, once the paste button shows up on your screen, you go ahead and press A and it should paste the uh, link into here. And then you want to go to the right side of the screen where you see a circle with an arrow pointing downwards. Go ahead and press A on that circle. After you press A on that circle, at the bottom center of your screen, you will see a rectangle that says start. Go ahead and press A on that to begin the download. And uh, once your download is, you know, it'll show you the, the, the MB and all that. It might take a while to download. So pull up your phone. I don't know how long it'll take to download because this is my first time downloading it right now. Boom, there you go. Not that long, honestly. So once it's done downloading, you want to go to the top left and press A on the three lines and then go to storage right here. Boom, I had a little brain fart. As you can see, I paused. Uh, but yeah, once you click on storage, you want to press A on the local storage. And then right here, you'll see connected glass.mcpack. Now what you want to do next is go ahead and press A on the square to the left of connected glass.mcpack. Once you press A on that square, it will put a check mark inside of it. Now you want to go to the bottom right of your screen, press A on the three dots, and then press a on rename once this menu comes up boom and then push the right bumper one time and erase mc pack but make sure not to delete the dot if you delete the dot on accident don't worry just go down here and press a on that dot and then uh replace the mc pack with z i P. After you replace it with ZIP, go ahead and press OK. Boom. And now what this does is it makes it into a zip folder that we can now open up. So hover over connectedglass.zip and press A on it. And it will show all of the... Well, actually, it's already neatly stored for us. Nice. So you should just see one folder. And then, then go to the bottom right. Press A on the symbol that looks like three lines, two check marks, and a square. After you press A on that one, at the bottom right, you want to press... A on the one to the left of it that looks like a paper pointing to a paper. Boom. After you press A on that in the order that I told you to in, push B to go back. Once you're here, go ahead and press the paste button, aka the clipboard icon at the bottom right. Boom. After you press A on the clipboard icon, as long as you followed my steps carefully, didn't skip a step, um, took your time, had some patience, it should 
work uh so yeah it's it's gonna be pasting i don't know how long this usually takes this is my first time pasting this uh folder out here so just pull up your phone i don't know call your mom tell her what's up <laughs> uh, pull up um Pull up the new COD Mobile on your phone. That that that's an actual really fun game to pass the time. Uh, download COD Mobile, start playing that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the point where it's done pasting because I'm not sure how long it will take. Okay, guys. So the download just finished, and when I started the download, it was like 2:48 p.m. and now it is 3 p.m. exactly. So it takes you know just it's not that long you know it's not that bad so once it's done pasting what you want to do is uh, I haven't seen what's inside of it so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and look okay good so yours should look just like this inside of the folder go ahead and check if you want to make sure you have everything uh, so yeah uh, once you but other than that I guess we're done right here all we gotta do is open up the next app that I told you guys to make sure you have downloaded called uh, which one was it? Ah, fuck. Uh, UFO.transfer. There you go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Once UFO.transfer is done loading over at the top right, if you do not see this gear icon, that means that you skipped step one. If you want to find out what step one of the tutorial is, make sure to rewind to the beginning of the tutorial portion of this video and then find out what step one is. If you already see it or if you fixed it, press A on the gear icon at the top right. Once you press A on it, over on the left side you will see a rectangle that says open in file explorer. Go ahead and press A on that rectangle and it should open up file explorer. And what this does is it gives you access to a certain route a slash folder inside of file explorer so that's why you need ufo.transfer but once this is done loading go to the top and press a on packages once you press a on packages you want to find the folder titled megascopes.universal file it has a bunch of random numbers in the beginning of it mine's is on the right yours might be on the left but once you find yours go ahead and open it up and then go into local states and right here you will see the connected glass folder what you want to do is hover over it the same way I am and then press the pause button aka the button with three lines on your controller and then press cut once this menu comes up so once you press cut you could go to the top again press a on packages and then and now the next folder you want to find is titled Microsoft dot minecraft UWP console right here mine is right here yours might be on the left yours might be lower and yours might be higher, but mine's is right here. Once you guys find your Minecraft Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder inside of the packages location, go ahead and open it up. And then once you open it up, go into local states, games, Mojang. And then right here, if you do not have a resource underscore packs folder in this area, you can create one by going to the bottom of the screen and pressing A on the icon that looks like a paper with a plus symbol. And then type in resource underscore packs. And then go ahead and press OK. And it's, I need to let you guys know this right now. If you misspell this folder, uh, it will not work. So make sure that it is spelled exactly like my folder so it will work. So once you have this folder or if you had it already, go ahead and open it up. And then at the bottom right, you will see a icon that looks like a clipboard. Go ahead and press A on that icon and it should begin pasting what we cut earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and find it. I have a bunch of like resource pack mods and stuff. So if you guys want any other mods, check the uh, description, but not all of them are in the description. If you want to see the rest of the mods that I've uploaded to my channel for Xbox One, go ahead and check my uh, Xbox mod playlist. So right here, where is it at? Connected glass, boom right here boys so now that you have it in the correct location i will show you how to equip it properly so it will work and yeah let's go just load up minecraft oh crap that was the fastest minecraft has ever loaded for me anyways once your game finishes loading go ahead and press play and then once you press play and uh, all your worlds finish up loading uh, go to the world where you want to equip the glass texture onto uh Go to the pencil to the right of that world and then press A on that pencil. Uh, once you press A on that pencil, it'll start syncing user data. It'll have to load the uh, you know settings up. So once it's done loading, um, as you can see right here, it's loading. Boop. There you go. Over here on the left side, you want to go down to resource packs. I already have mine equipped, but I'll go ahead and remove it. Uh, boop. Right. 
there see I removed it uh, so all you got to do is go down to resource packs like this and then go down to available packs and you will see connected glass go ahead and press a on it and then press plus and boom you have it on active packs now uh, so yeah once you have it there just go ahead and press play and load your world up and once your world is done loading you should have the better glass uh, without the borders on uh, your minecraft world and once your world is done loading as mine just did uh, you can go ahead and see for yourself that it works uh, and it also works for all of the uh, stained glass so it's uh, pretty much the borders are removed you don't see the lines like you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Okay, you guys all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a brand new video in the future. And uh, if you end up showing this to your friends and they actually are like, oh, how'd you do it? Go ahead and show them my video, man. Um, sharing is a, the number one thing you could do to support support me and you know show love just spread the word out you know tell all of your friends tell all of your friends friends about like these mods on xbox like it's pretty cool man but yeah thank you guys i appreciate you for even watching my video but yeah thank you guys i'll see you guys next time hit that like button subscribe i guess that's all i gotta say all right guys peace